You know, I was thinking about memories of my family again the other day. I got thinking about my papa long. He was my grandpa on my mama's side. And boy, did he love to pull one over on you. Anything he could do to pull one over on you, make you laugh, he would. And maybe I didn't fall too far from that tree. But I remember he uh, he told me a story one time when I was just a little fella. And uh, he said that when years ago, he said he had a little old hunting dog out there. And he said, that's one of the best hunting dogs you ever seen in your life. He said, that dog kept him going hungry. And he said he had two or three different boards. And he said, you set one of them boards out there. He said, you had a board about so long. And he said, put that by the back door. And when you wake up the next morning, that dog would have your rabbit call. Well, he said, have one just a little bit longer. And he said, you put that out there and the dog would have a raccoon laying there for you whenever you got up. He said, put that old biggest board out there. And he said, he'd have a big old groundhog or something like that pulled up there. And he said, one year during spring cleaning, he said, uh, my grandma always moved everything around in the house in the spring time of the year and cleaned everything real good. And he said, she put her ironing board out there just to get it out of the way and forgot it out there at night. And he said, I ain't seen that little dog since. <laughs> And y'all, when I was little, I felt so sorry for that little old dog. I'm telling you what. <laughs>